Hi there, I am Nathan Bailey with 3CX and today we are going to discuss how to configure ring groups and queues with 3CX phone system. A ring group is a simple way to route a call when any one of several users or extensions could answer the call. The first of the ring strategies is ring all, where all the members of the ring group are called simultaneously and the first to answer the call will be connected to the caller. The second type of ring strategy is hunt where all the members of the hunt group are called in order and the first to answer the call will be connected to the caller. The third type of ring strategy is paging, where all the members of the paging group are called simultaneously and told to answer automatically and activate the speakerphone on the SIP phone. The result is a one-way call with multiple parties listening to the caller's announcement, much like a PA system in a hospital or a school. Select the Add, Ring Group menu option, assign a name to the ring group, and select the ring group strategy you would like for this group. Next, select the members you want to join the ring group. Now select an alternative destination where the call should be routed if the call is not answered. Send it to another extension like the receptionist, another ring group or queue, or to the voicemail of a particular extension or even to an outside number. This option does not apply to paging groups. In 3CX phone system, by default, each extension can handle only one incoming call at a time. If your phone supports handling multiple incoming calls at once, you can select this option, per extension, from the forwarding rules section of the extension you want to change. In the available status, scroll down to the phone is busy section and check I want to be able to accept more than one call at the same time, uses phone status. This will allow you to accept more than one call at the same time. Follow the link provided to find the additional steps to allow your phone to accept more than one call from a ring group. Please note that if a call comes into a ring group and your present status is set to away or out of office, 3CX phone system will ignore your forwarding rules and still ring your phone. This will stop incoming calls going to voicemail or forwarding to mobile phone numbers when agents should be answering calls because one agent is away or out of the office. Incoming calls not to a ring group will still follow your set present status as normal. This also applies to queue calls as well. A queue allows the PBX to distribute incoming calls to agents in a call center style. The queue manager handles waiting calls and distributes them accordingly. Keep in mind, calls waiting in the queue count towards your licensed simultaneous calls. With version 10 call center module of 3CX phone system, we have introduced six new polling strategies available only with the call center module. The first three in the list are standard polling strategies and are available in the commercial version of 3CX phone system. The remaining strategies, round robin, longest waiting, least talk time, fewest answered, and hunt by threes random and prioritized are all call center edition only. The queue feature is not available in the free edition and these polling strategies will be discussed in a separate video. Select the Add Call Queue menu option, assign a name to the queue, and add agents to service the queue. Next, select where to forward the call if the caller is in the queue for longer than the maximum wait time. Default is 1800 seconds. Now, upload the introduction prompt and optionally also the music on hold file for this queue, and select whether to announce to the caller his position in the queue. If both an intro prompt is set and music on hold, the music on hold will be turned down while the intro prompt is played and then volume restored on the music on hold after the intro prompt has been played. An agent must be logged into a queue to be able to service calls that come into the queue. An agent may set his queue login status in one of two ways. One, by logging into his MyPhone interface and setting his queue status via the global login log out button next to the time display. Second, by dialing the dial code from the agent's phone, star 62 to log in and star 63 to log out. With the addition of the call center module, queue administrators can log agents into or out of queues right from their MyPhone interface and give agents the ability to log themselves into or out of queues described in the extension group rights video. This gives agents the ability to log themselves into certain queues and log out of others they may or may not be taking calls for at that particular time. Finally, the PBX administrator can also change an extension's queue status directly via the management console. 
Call Center Edition features included in version 10 specifically for queues include the following additional features. Callback. What the callback feature does is allow callers after a set amount of time, or when triggered by pressing 2, to leave their phone number and the system will keep their spot in the queue and when it is their turn to speak with an agent, 3CX phone system will call the customer back and connect them with an agent, allowing your customers the ability to not waste valuable time on hold waiting to speak with an agent. The outbound prefix allows administrators to set a specific outbound rule to use for making callbacks. Outbound rules are discussed in a separate video. The next option we have is wrap-up time. What wrap-up time does is allows administrators to set a specific time that after an agent hangs up a call, 3CX phone system will wait to pull the agent again for that set amount of time. In this example, we have wrap-up time set at 30 seconds. Callback notifications allow the system to send email notifications to the defined email address about related feedback, for example SLA. If you need to be notified that a caller has been waiting in the queue for more than 30 seconds, as in this example, the administrator will receive an email stating that particular call has breached SLA, and it will show up in the SLA breaches report in the call log reporter. The introduction of the call center module for 3CX phone system brings in 20 new reports in the call log reporter. These 20 reports will give administrators the ability to generate reports about lost queue calls, SLA breaches, agent statistics, and failed callbacks, and more. This has been Nathan Bailey with 3CX. I hope you found the information provided informative. You can find more training material at the link provided.